Right, look guys, watching the Geek 71. Today we're talking about The Walking Dead, Series 9, Episode 1 to 9, because Series is such a big series, we're split it in half. So we're talking about Episode 1 to 9 today of Series 9 of The Walking Dead. Uh, we've talked about Series 1 to 8 already, check it out. Without further ado, let's get on to it, because there's a lot to talk about. So, we from the aftermath of Series 8, and like I said, Series 8 was such a brilliant end for the show. It could have been. But they decide to continue on, which is fair enough. Everyone's all happy, happy days. And we start off the series with everyone being all happy, happy days. Um, but people trying to work with what society's become, you know. You've got the saviours and Rick's people trying to be civil and sort of things like that. But of course the saviours are Negan's men. And some of the mixtures between Negan's men and... Um, Rick or the jungle people, the jungle people, and of course, uh, the hilltops, all different people mixing together, which is causing conflict and arguments and stuff like this. And Rick's trying to settle and keep the peace. Uh, however, traveling to places, the supplies are running low on petrol and stuff, which is taking longer, and they need certain areas to go. So, they this bridge is broken, so they get all of the people together to build this bridge and they were doing that so that it will help everyone and whilst everyone's working together to do this it will help others be, other colonies help each other sort of thing to grow and thrive is what Rick's trying to do um it doesn't go exactly to plan which is you know uh causes some problems later on but we have um some of Negan's men that people feel like they don't belong here after what they've done, uh, such as the women's group with Tira, Tyra, I don't know her name, but you know that women's group uh, that she was found with. Um, yeah, they start killing off Negan's men. Uh, Daryl and the woman with the sword turn a blind eye, which also causes um, Daryl to get the blame for it, but it's not him, and it causes Rick and Daryl to have a massive fight and butt heads. They also have another fight and butt heads later on when it comes to Negan when Megan wants to kill him off. Um, which is interesting and cool and I like that. It's like we're not all just following what Rick says. Some people are going against it and some people feel right for Rick and some people don't. Which is fair enough. It makes people feel more realistic with what we've got. Uh, once the bridge is half built of such... A massive herd of zombies start coming, basically, which causes problems. And as that is the case, um, Rick doesn't want this bridge to go. It is it is the lifeline. It is the thing that he's trying to honour Carl's memory and, you know, do that sort of thing. Which also leads to his downfall. Um, later on, Rick's trying to herd the zombies away. He gets injured and it causes him... To have this illusion, hallucination episode. And not only that, it's his final story in The Walking Dead. Watching this for the first time, uh, yeah, it was hard because I was like, oh no, they, they, please don't kill Rick off. Please, please don't. I knew Rick gets a spin off, but I wasn't sure whether it's like in between seasons. So, it could, they, so even if he did die, they could just add him in. I didn't want Rick to die. And he didn't some helicopter thing went on and he got rescued and he just goes off for his spin-off just like Morgan going off for his I guess in a way but I like that Rick doesn't die but everyone else thinks he's dead even his daughter and all that um which is interesting we also have before Rick dying Rick constantly visiting Negan in prison because Negan's in prison and you have that going on and that constant there um of Rick telling Negan what's happening but you're never going to escape the prison is basically what it was going on and when Rick goes off as well Megan uh tries to kill Negan and the woman in the sword tries to honor Rick's memory and try to continue what he wants sort of thing and they confront but then eventually the woman in the sword lets Megan go in and you just see Negan destroyed and crying and a shell of a man for what he once was. And prison's kind of destroyed him. So she doesn't kill him because he know this is better than death, she feels like, for Megan. 
And then we kind of have Megan from running this place to suddenly just going off with her son and going off. And now Jesus is taking over the colony, which is like, what? Um, yeah, that was a crazy turn because I hope she comes back. You know, I hope they don't just write her out. Um, but let's talk about something big in this series. Series 9, obviously it's the end of Rick. And we got the montages of um, Shane, of course, which I really thought was cool. But where's Kyle and where is the mom? You know, I, I mean, his, his wife, because what, we couldn't afford them or something. It's Rick's final episode. Why are we not getting them involved? It's something I wanted to say. But also, um, we got to see um, the farmer dude. I forgot his name now, uh, which is annoying because I did used to remember his name. But he's lovely, and he it was nice to have him back talking to Rick, you know, that was cool. And then we also got someone else, which I, I, I thought, like, was a bit irrelevant to do, but, you know. I like the Easter eggs, the people dying on the floor, and there's certain people we've seen from other series all around Rick, which was cool. But anyway, Rick constantly on that horse, away from the herd, and eventually he blows up the bridge, and that's where everyone thinks Rick's dead. Because uh, they don't find a body, and he's gone, basically, but actually he's been took off in a helicopter somewhere and we'll have to find out what happens there I guess with that because there's been helicopters popping up all over series 8 and 9 to be fair um, but anyway they do a time jump I'm like what so I had to actually stop watching the show and go on my phone and without hopefully spoilers and going on to why did series 9 do a time jump they wanted to do uh, Rick's daughter older sort of thing and they wanted to leave the characters in a different way apparently so they did a six year time jump of such wow which left us with carol with long hair so i instantly thought oh this is set during lockdown it was set in 2018 this is before lockdown so carol's just long dad we've also got carol also and ezekiel the king uh he proposed to her wants to marry her sort of thing eventually she says yes sort of thing and that goes forward. Um, the saviors are kind of gone from Negan's army. And Negan eventually escapes the prison. Because the bloody priest, he causes so many problems, Gabriel does. Anyway, he managed to pull this really fit bird. You know, the one that was with the ginger guy, um, Abraham. Gabriel managed to pull her. However, she's pregnant with the doctor dude. So, ha, to Gabriel. Because, ha. I don't like him. Uh, but he let basically Negan out again. So Negan's gone off and Rick's daughter kind of confronts him twice. But he goes off to his own colony and sees there's no of his men left. So he just goes off now. And we don't know what's going to happen with Negan next. But he's just escaped the prison. And the woman with the sword is yet to find out. Or pretty much anyone is. Which is interesting. We've also got people dressing up as zombies. And the people, uh, I honestly thought that the zombies were evolving. I thought that was such a cool thing for the show to do. But they didn't take that opportunity to uh, to evolve. They didn't, sadly. Uh, it was just people dressing up as zombies, which is interesting. But we finally got people coming back. So Daryl's been on his own hunting for Rick. Doesn't happen. And he goes uh, back to help, basically. So he's been on a journey on his own. We've got Carol doing her own thing in the jungle place. But... Um, we all have kids now and stuff. Uh, Megan's gone off somewhere. The woman with the sword's grieving with Rick and trying to handle things in, uh, in um, that society, I guess. Rick's place. And, yeah. Everyone's doing their bit. Everyone's mixing up again, finally, after many years of not seeing each other. There's been some massive time jump in the series. But anyway, I think it's a solid start to the series. I hope it picks up a bit more, but at the moment I'm giving this series an 8 out of 10. I think Rick's ending was the best one of this story so far, and that's a solid 9 on its own. But the series as a whole, it gets an 8 out of 10 from me. I'm hoping series 9 picks up later on with my next talk about where I'm at with the series. Hopefully you guys will continue to join. If not, we do Marvel, DC, Doctor Who, Rick and what you name it. Rears place to be for the geek like me, so join, join, and subscribe. As always, I'll see you guys in a review very soon. Have a nice day, and yes, I will continue the Walking Dead reviews and watching it for the first time, so stay tuned. See you guys in another talk next time.